Alright, hey everyone, what's up? I uh, just wanted to walk you through a quick uh, way that I am kind of setting up my PPC campaigns, especially for the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and holiday season. So, yeah, I just wanted to share with you because I think this could be useful for a lot of people who are kind of <clears throat> in a position of uh, probably doing this for the first time or in a position of a bit of confusion as to how do you basically set up your PPC campaigns especially for the holiday season now by no means this is a very professional or in-depth tutorial about PPC I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts my opinions and the way I do it okay there are other people in the group or elsewhere who might be probably setting up somewhere else but this is my opinion my perspective this is just for you to get yourself thinking about how do you set up your PPC campaigns all right so yeah uh, before we get started I just wanted to kind of run through a bit of data because that quite that actually got me excited in, in the first place so uh, dates let's get that, this out of the way first 20, 29th November is Black Friday and Cyber Monday seems to be December 2 right so 29 November is tomorrow but don't worry about it uh, you should be seeing a increase in the number of daily sales from 29th up till the 21st of December around that uh, this is based on the previous year's data that I have on my seller central okay that's where I'm coming from I'm not really making any guesses and I've had two Q4 seasons and it has been mostly the same kind of trend so yeah as you can see the black friday trend is actually on the high right this is the past 30 day data or screenshot from google trends and as you see the black friday trend is actually rising now the cyber monday trend is also rising but i was super curious to see which one is a bigger player in the market which one has more uh which one would probably have more audience and if you notice here on this overlap black friday has a lot higher uh interest i would say or search interest as opposed to cyber monday because black friday is kind of like it actually goes about uh for a couple of days not just for one particular day so yeah because the deals usually run for a seven day period uh that's what i know of okay so yeah, without any further ado, let's get into what I want to share with you all. So basically, uh, so, and if you don't have access to this brand analytics dashboard, don't worry about it. I'll be sharing the keywords by the end of this video. So watch till the end, okay? So what I want to, what I'm trying to basically say here is that, keep it simple, okay? Go ahead and research for your root keywords, okay? your root keywords in the sense the root keywords for the season and pair those root keywords with your relevant keywords so for example one of the root keywords for this season for the next six 30 days would be holiday okay so what i went what i did is basically i just went ahead and typed holiday uh set my date range to weekly and amazon popped up about 2400 keywords keyword phrases on my screen and it's actually showing me which one is searched at what frequency on Amazon which is which is brilliant because this data is actually coming directly from Amazon okay and this is not coming from jungle scout this is not coming from helium 10 this is coming from Amazon's backend okay so this is probably the most trustworthy way to analyze which keywords are being searched for so pro so you could probably be selling home holiday you could probably be selling something which would be a decor decorative kind of product so you know that holiday decor is one of the uh, prime searched keywords now okay so you could probably be selling toys so as you see here holiday toy list 2019 for boys that's a very long tail keyword but it's being searched very highly right now probably because of the autocomplete feature on amazon okay similarly holiday toy list for girls then there is holiday movies then there is holiday decorations okay so sim so in the same way there are about about 2400 keywords which are being popped up on the screen right now by amazon similarly uh, you can just go ahead and type in black friday and kind of get a list of all of these keywords which have black friday in them and then filter these keywords out based on your target product or your target niche okay it could be uh you could probably be selling baby products so you can say black friday deals for baby or black friday baby products whatever it is so you can go ahead and kind of mine through this list which is something that is being given to you by amazon and 
go ahead and find your relevant keywords and you know start uh, your ppc campaigns around those keywords okay it could be uh, so this could this could probably be a starting point that's what i mean similarly i went ahead and typed in christmas gifts and that also gave gave me a lot of these keywords and I'm, I'm what i'm going to do next is basically i've already done it for my campaign so what you should probably do next is that if you have these root keywords uh, which are holiday centric you need to basically go ahead and find out which keywords out of these are making sense to you or you should just use these root keywords and go ahead and type it in the amazon's uh, PPC key PPC tool wherein basically you can kind of get some suggestions about what other keywords are being searched for Okay, so this is one way to do it Yeah, all right So this is this this is basically what I meant when I was telling you that just go ahead and use the root keyword so you can just go ahead and type black Friday Here and you would start seeing all of these different suggestions now if you're selling uh let's say baby products so if i if i go ahead and type black friday baby it's going to show me black friday baby deals maybe crib deals baby dolls baby monitor baby car seats toys etc if i go ahead and type um adults so it's gonna show me something related to that so yeah that's what i mean just use the root keywords here holiday gifts 2019 all right so holiday gift 2019 for adults best holiday gift 2019 top holiday gift 2019 kids holiday gift 2019 holiday gifts for men women co-workers wow i would have never thought about the word co-workers okay that's very interesting for women under ten dollars under 20 okay so that's another way to kind of uh, hit the long tail keywords very specifically for students for employees for friends for families female friends family members fitness enthusiasts so I just hit F and it gave me all of these keywords now if I type let's say M for men mom men's tools mother-in-law millennials men with beard interesting that is super interesting if i type in n here it says neighbors nurses new ones that's crazy right so whatever makes sense for your product just use those keywords okay just use the root keywords paired with whatever makes sense with you and basically go ahead and turn on your ppc all right uh, beyond that uh, again like just to keep it simple what you need to do here now is to use these root keywords like holiday gifts christmas black friday cyber monday deals offers and find or build phrases around that which are relevant to you okay that's that's kind of like the fundamental uh, way to set this up for the q4 campaigns and that's what i do all right and uh, some some basic points that you should keep in mind is that let's say you are somebody who's trying to sell this in the UK then you should probably it's also think up. about uh, putting up or maybe maybe replacing gifts with a presence okay maybe don't replace it but have the keywords which also say presence instead of gifts because presence might be a bit more native to the United Kingdom landscape as opposed to the United States okay so just think about that be creative and yeah you should be very good now the sales today have been very very decent as you see uh, the sales have been rising I've never hit 30 in the last last one month of my sales on Amazon so today is the first day when I've hit 30 that means that it's clearly going up now uh, regarding the budgets what I do I basically really rev up my budgets okay my budgets are really high during the Q4 season but that's because I've already optimized all of my campaigns if you're just setting up the fresh campaigns you have to be conservative just be very thorough with your numbers don't start losing money okay that's the goal of this entire process don't start losing money be very thorough bid only as much as you can afford to bid as per your numbers okay so yeah those were my two cents and of course there'll be a lot of different uh ways to do this but these are this this is what i do this is how i think about it i hope you find this helpful all the best have a great q4 i'm gonna head out for a holiday i will see you next time all right, folks, so I've da already downloaded these root keyword lists from my brand analytics dashboard. 
and I'm super happy to share this with you all. Just let me know down below in the comments. Just com comment PPC, holiday PPC, and I will share this with you all. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.